Hey, this is Ryan Lindsay, owner of GoFab CNC, and in this video, we're gonna go over upgrading to the new version five software. And there's two processes we're gonna cover in this video. The first process is how to upgrade to the new version five accelerated software from the 4.90. The second process we're going to cover is how to revert back to the version 4.90 software if you need to. So make sure that you watch this entire video before you attempt either one of these processes so you know exactly what you're getting into. Now version 5 is brand new and it's untested. It's going to have errors and it's going to have bugs and they may result in your GoFab CNC machine not functioning properly. Under normal circumstances, if you upgrade to version 5, you should be able to revert back to version 4.90 fairly easily. But keep in mind that version 5 is currently experimental and the process to revert may not be quick and it may not be easy. So a few words of caution. Do not upgrade to version 5 if you are not an experienced GoFab CNC machine operator. Do not upgrade to version 5 if you have important projects that are pending. And do not upgrade to version 5 if your GoFab CNC machine is currently not functioning properly. Never ever upgrade to try and fix an issue with your machine. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do on our tablet is uninstall or delete the version 4.90. If we don't, we'll get an error that the new version cannot install because there's a conflict. That's what that error is going to be referring to, that we still have version 4.90 on our tablet and we've got to get rid of it. So the first thing we'll do is we'll open it up to where we can see all of our different apps. We're going to hold our finger down on the GoFab CNC icon. And on this Samsung tablet, it pops up a little menu that says uninstall. On some tablets, it may show something at the top up here and you have to drag that button over. So I'll hit uninstall. It'll ask me to confirm and I'll say OK. Now the next thing we need to do is download the 5.0 software. So let's open up Google. And we are going to go to GoFab. CNC.com. So now that we're at the GoFab CNC website, let's go to the menu option that says software right there and just press it. It'll load the software page. You may have to press it twice. Scroll down to the very bottom and click on where it says click here to visit our update page and scroll down a little bit you can see version 5.0 of the beta is available and directly below it is the 4.90 remember that because if we have to revert back this is what we're gonna click to download it so let's click this to start downloading the 5.0 it says this might be harmful do you trust this yes we certainly trust this so we'll wait a few seconds for it to download and you can see in this top corner right here is where it's indicating that it's currently downloading. As soon as it's done, that little arrow will disappear. All right, now it indicates that the file has downloaded. We're gonna click on Open. And it'll say, for your security, you need to give Chrome the permission to install this. So we're gonna say Settings and allow it to install. And we're going to go right back to where we were and click on install. If it doesn't ask you that, you can always go into the downloads folder using the files app and then click on the app and it'll be the same process. So we'll say open. Now with the new 5.0, one of the things that it does is it automatically finds your Bluetooth connection so you don't have to do anything. We'll press the next button. We're going to say while using the app allow and allow press next and now again it wants us to give permission and it's different on some tablets on Samsung it actually brings up this screen and you have to click on GoFab CNC and say yes I would like to allow it press the back button press it again to get back into the app and now press next again it says would you like to connect yes we would we do not currently have a machine saved that's fine. It'll find it on its own. And since this is the first time it's scanning for any 
machine that may be available. So if you had multiple machines, it would find both of them. Uh, if it finds a single one, then it'll automatically connect to it. So right now it automatically connected to it. And the first thing it's going to tell us is that we need to update the table. So don't worry if that says current version is 2.0. What matters is it is not 5.0, which is what we're using right now. So we'll say update. And it's sending the file over. And this can take a minute. We'll probably speed through this process. All right, now it's restarting. So it's got the 5.0 software on the table. It's just getting itself oriented right now. It's gonna start back up. And the first thing that we need to do when it comes up, if it doesn't ask us, is go in and pick our table size. It should ask us, but if it doesn't, we need to go in and manually select our table size. Okay, so we've got the first error that says no settings have been selected. So we're going to press continue and now we're going to select our table size. I'm going to select four by eight. It'll tell us to select a plasma cutter. Now keep in mind, this section right here is not actually active. This is going to be active in one of the future releases of the version five software, but right now it's not. So it doesn't matter what you select. You do select what attachments you have on this screen. Press next. It's going to tell you to confirm. Don't worry about it. Just say yes. Right now it's sending all those settings over to the table and everything is good to go. And now it's saying that the Z needs to be calibrated, which is a different screen, by the way. I think it's a better looking screen than what the other one was. Um, and first we've got a home, but we're gonna get out of this. We're done doing the update for uh, the 5.0. Now let's say that you've got the 5.0 and you need to go back to the 4.9. The most important thing to remember is you can only go back to 4.9 using the 5 version software. You cannot delete this version, install the 4.90, and get your table back to 4.90. The only way to get your table back to 4.90 is to use this version 5. Go to settings, go to machine settings, and go to update table, and select return to 3.xx. The reason that it says 3 and not 4.90 is it reverts it to the oldest version that we support. That way, no matter what version you are using, if you're a person that's using 3.18 or any of the version 3 uh, software, you can still revert back to it using this. So we're going to press return to 3.xx. And then once this process is done, then we will delete this version 5 app and install the version 4.90 app and connect to the table and it's going to tell you immediately that the software on the table is older and needs to be updated and we're going to go through that update process on the 4.90. Perfect, the table is restarting. When it boots back up, it's going to be using the version three software. So if it reconnects to the table or the tablet, you're gonna see a message saying, hey, the software needs to be updated on the table. We are not doing any more updating. If we're reverting back to the 4.90, we want it to be an older version of the software. So that just means we're done and we're gonna close the 5.0 app or 5.1, whatever version you happen to be working with. And there it is. It tells you that it needs to be updated. We are not going to update with this software. We're done. We're going to hit cancel. We are going to close the 5.0. We'll go ahead and close everything we got open on this. And now we're going to do the same thing we did. We're going to open this. We're going to hold our finger down and we're going to click uninstall and say OK. And like I said, on some tablets, you may drag it up to the top where it says uninstall. It may be a little bit different, but the process is the same. Ultimately, we want to uninstall that version 5 software. Now we're going to go back to Google, and we're going to go right back to the GoFab CNC website. I wish it just had it pulled up.
click on software twice scroll down to the bottom click here to go to the update page and now click on download version 4.90 yes download anyway same thing you can see that little arrow right here that indicates that it's being downloaded as soon as it's done it'll let us know right there it says the file has been downloaded we're gonna click open and it's gonna say do you want to install this application yes we do app installed open now it's gonna try and connect we'll go through the normal process you don't have to worry about any of this your table already has those dip switches set confirm continue set plasma yes and now it's bringing us to that screen where we have to give the app permission so click on GoFab CNC turn on the permissions go back while using the app allow okay now we're back at the main screen we're gonna tell it to connect to Bluetooth it's already paired to the Bluetooth so we shouldn't have to go through that process but it's not going to automatically connect to it with the 4.90 software. It's going to bring up the screen that lets you select what machine you want to connect to. So right here, it saw this machine is available. If it had already been connected to it, it would say dash selected. So we're going to tap it to select it, and now it's going to connect. There it is. It's connected. You can see right off the bat, it says the current version is too old and the minimum supported is 4.90 so it wants to update the table to 4.90 so we'll say update and there it goes it's updating and as soon as this process is done we're gonna go select our table size again because we want to make sure that whatever settings were related to the version 5 are overwritten by the settings that are for the 4.90 okay the software is finished sending over to the table so now we're gonna wait for it to restart and hopefully when it comes back it does the same process of asking us to select a table size but if it doesn't we have got to make sure and do it ourselves because like I said we want to make sure that any settings that were part of version 5 are overwritten by the settings for version 4.90 perfect now it's asking us to home it we're gonna say cancel because again before we do anything we want to make sure that it knows the right table size and we'll hit okay I'm not using an actual table so it's throwing those errors cancel out of anything that pops up if it's not asking you to select your table size and before you do anything before you home before you do anything whatsoever press the settings button go to table settings and go to initial setup and select doesn't matter just pick whatever your table size is and go through the process that will overwrite anything that's left over from the version 5 software and get your table back to the way it was when you were using it before you updated it'll take it a minute just to restart and then it's gonna ask us to do the calibration for the z-axis and that's it so we'll tell it to home the table and then we'll go through the calibration process tell it to go down Okay, blah, 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 blah. Done.